everyone, it's LV for House of Color. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how I edit my photos for Instagram. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I usually do to my photos before I upload them to Instagram. The two main apps that I typically use are Afterlight and VSO Cam. Those are my two favorite apps that I normally use and I'll show you why in a bit. Actually, before we get into that, I wanna go ahead and show you guys the original pictures and then the edited pictures so you guys can see the difference. This is the first photo. Obviously, you can see that the picture is very pretty. There's a lot of colors to it, but you can always make enhancements to it and that's what I love about those apps. This is the before photo and this is the after. All the colors pop up and it looks a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I did. Open Afterlight, and you can see that the picture is already pulled up. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Hi. <laughs> the great thing about Afterlight is that I love the brightness function on it. You can turn the photo up as high as you want without compromising the entire photo. Sometimes when you turn the brightness up too much, it makes the entire picture look very overcast and you lose out on a lot of the details. But the brightness function in Afterlight is my absolute favorite. Your whites turn extra crisp and the whole photo just looks a lot more professional and a lot more pleasing to the eye. This is the before. That's the after. And then you can turn the brightness up as much as you want to. Sometimes I do it once, sometimes I do it twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that, at number 22. I really like the way it looks, and I don't know if it's kinda of washed up on camera here, but on the phone it looks really, really nice. And then the next thing I go ahead and do is I turn the contrast up. I like to do this so that all the colors pop in the picture, and then save and then you can go ahead and um, play around with the saturation and what the saturation does is that it makes all the colors stand out a lot more so your blues become a lot bluer see how the green becomes a lot more green um, you can play with this as much as you want you can see that it is super enhanced I look a little bit orangey so we're gonna turn that down a little bit and then save it I usually don't use any of the afterlight filters, but if I do want to get like kind of a moody, dreamy, vintagey look on my picture, I go ahead and use Rust, and then you can turn it up or turn it down right here. If you check it, then you can save it. And then you can save it to your camera roll, or you can export it right to Instagram and go ahead and upload it. But what I usually do is I save it to my camera roll. And then I go in and upload that to my Instagram. So there it is. Just select picture for Instagram. And then you can move it. You can center it. You can do whatever you want to it. Now if I'm editing a picture that has more of my face in it, my technique is a little bit different. I first go into Facetune. And I have the picture pulled up already. Let me turn down the brightness in the camera to show you guys. Okay, so here is the picture of my face. What I like to do first in Facetune is smooth out any lines and wrinkles. See right there, I have a little bit of a line. And see how the picture is a little bit pixelated? I like to smooth all that out. So go ahead and smooth it. You can smooth as much as you want. Sometimes I do get a little bit carried away with this, so you should be very, very careful. And then you can always see the before and after of what you just did. If you tap that, that's the before. You tap it and that's the after. It's like old, young. And then, you know, you gotta smooth out those ashy knees and legs. That's the before, that's the after. Before, after. It just gives your photo a very nice airbrush finish. And that's about it for Facetune. I go ahead and save it. I usually just save it into the camera roll because I like to put another filter on it. For VSO Cam, I really, really love the filters on here. You can get a standard set of filters, but I purchase all the filters. That's how much I love the VSO Cam filters. You can go in here, and then um, what I really love about VSO Cam is that it gives your picture such character. I really love their black and whites. It doesn't wash out your photos. It really brings out the blacks and your whites are very high contrast. And then you can play around with the different filters. See how that instantly gives your picture like a very um, retro look? That's more of like a softer 
glam. One of my favorite filters in VSO Cam is the HB1. See how it just turns your photo into something completely different? So HB1 and HB2 are my favorite filters from VSO Cam. And then, like I mentioned, the black and white filters are really nice too. I pretty much have all the filters. Every time VSO Cam comes out with a new filter, I purchase the whole package, even though I don't really use it. You know how sometimes when you have way too many options, it's just like you get a little bit confused and you don't even want to look at it. But uh, yeah, so see, that's a cool black and white one. Anyway, so for this photo, I'm going to go ahead and pick HB1. I really like that one. HB1 and then you can turn it up or turn it down to as much filter as you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and max out the filter. Check that, check that, and then that's it. You can save this to your camera roll, which is what I usually do. What I really, really love Instagram for is this little tool right here. You know, sometimes when you take a photo, it's not lined up correctly. I hate that. Um, so I go in here and then you see how, I don't know if you guys can tell, but in the picture right here, the ocean line is a little bit off centered. So how we are going to correct that is we're just going to move the photo. See how you can move the photo like this, or you can move it like that. Um, I'm going to move it just a little bit so that the ocean is lined up with the line. You can use this little graph to guide you right here and then that's it. And then one other app you guys can use to edit your photo before you put on Instagram is Square Ready. That's when you have a photo that doesn't fit in the square but you want to upload the entire picture. So say for this one, if you press this button down here, it centers it or if you press this button, it squares it, or if you press this button, it actually um, just makes it fit into the square. And then I'll do another one for you guys. Here's that other picture that we edited. I don't wanna cut it out, so what I'm gonna do is just press this, or you can do this, or you can move it around, do it right here, and then save it to your album. Also, when I uploaded this photo onto my Instagram, a lot of you guys asked how I did the Polaroid and then placed the picture on there. First, I would take the picture in After Light. You would go over here to Frames. For this picture, I'm going to go ahead and use this frame. We're going to save that. Pick our next photo. We're going to go ahead and use the swing one and then put a frame on there. I think I like that one again. So I'm going to use that. This one's really pretty. Put a frame on it. I'll put this one. And then done. So you can do as many pictures as you want. I'm just going to do three for the sake of the tutorial. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into photo grid. And then this is where you place all your pictures. Oh, right here. Pick the pinboard selection. And we're going to go ahead and pick the pictures. Right, one, two, three. You place them in there and then you click next. And then um, for the background, I just like mine white. So we're gonna pick white right there. We're gonna place this here. We're gonna place this right there. And then this guy, we're gonna bring it up here. So anytime you click a picture, it becomes the forefront picture. And then that's how I do it. You can actually write in whatever you want to write in. So for the sake of the tutorial, let's just go ahead and choose that font. And then you can go in here and pick the color. I am boring, so I'm just going to go with black. I think that's black. So that's how you would edit this cool little Polaroid collage for your Instagram. And save it. Da -da -da -da. Let's go to Instagram and then we can go ahead and upload that picture. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. There it is. St. Thomas. Ah! So that was pretty much it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions and be sure to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, come say hi to me on Instagram at House of Color. Um, I think that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! Bye.